This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. I'm on the lesson for loops with B, and I'm on part 10 of it. Use the counter variable twice to solve this problem. Oof. Use it twice. So we've been using counter, right? So I know we're going to need a loop because that's how we've been setting it up. Now, I need to use it twice to get all these. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure how to start here. I know I need to move forward. I'm going to just work out how I'm going to do this without a loop. Move forward, get nectar. Then what do we want to do? I would want to move forward twice now. And get how much nectar? Two nectars, one nectar. Two nectar. And then what? I want to move forward one, two, three. I can tell. Okay. And then how much nectar? Three nectar. Okay. So these all match. Okay. So if they all match, that's a good quality for a loop, right? That counts up because one, two, three. Right? They're, and they all match each other. One, one, two, two, three, three. So counter can be used for both of these, right? When we want to move three, I can also use counter to get three nectar, I think. So loops. Well, we only need to go to what's the highest level of nectar? Three. And counting up by one makes sense because one, two, three. All right, now what do I want to do? Well, I want to get nectar, but I also need to move. So let's grab our variable. If counter starts at one, well, that's perfect for moving because I only need to move one at first. Okay. Now, once I move one, what do I want to do? I want to get nectar. Okay. So that's great. I could put that right here, but we're going to run into problems. Watch right now. There's going to be a bug because once we run through it a second time, once I get one nectar and then I go zoop, count, counter is now one plus one, which is two, repeat two times, move forward, get nectar. There's no nectar here. That's an issue. So you might think, okay, we'll put it here. But now I'm not going to get enough nectar. Right? I'm not going to be getting enough nectar. I moved enough because we have our forward in this repeat loop, but I'm not getting enough nectar. Now, remember that if it's working for movement forward, our nectar amount is the same. Is the same. Our nectar amount's the same as how much we are moving. So if I move forward two, I need to get two nectar. So why not we do the same thing? Variable, counter, right? Because if I'm moving forward one, I need one nectar, but then I need to control it to make sure when I move forward two, I get two nectar. Well, if I'm moving forward two and I'm using this to repeat the movement, why not use this to repeat how much nectar we're getting? So a loop within a loop within a loop. And remember, each time we loop through, counter is starting at one. So then counter is one. We move forward one. We drop below. Counter is one. I'll step through it. Now we should get one nectar, and now we're going to add zoop, second time around. So one plus one, because we're going up by one, is two. So I should move forward once, and now we're going to run it again twice, move forward. Yep. Now we'll drop below, and I should get nectar once, and then twice. Now we hit the bottom. Two plus one is three, so now we're at three, right? Because we go up by one each time, and I should move forward three. Let's give it a shot. Ta-da! Onward.